Hey people, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. I'm going to do a review again on another men's set of fragrance today. Um, the fragrance today I'm going to do a review of it's from a sample and it's thanks to uh, Perfume Bangladesh uh, who provided me with this uh, generous sample with some other. So this is the last of the samples but I'm getting another full bottle probably today. So the fragrance I'm going to be reviewing today uh, too. So this particular perfume it's called uh, Wild Leather. And this has quite a few reviews on YouTube and you can also read up on, on Fragrantica. There is mixed filling, there are like mixed fillings on this particular one. Um, so leather, first of all, a few things. Uh, leather is not a very easy note that not many people really like or appreciate the note of leather or you can pull it off uh, in all the seasons. Usually you can try leather on most on cold weathers and there are some fresh leathers. So Mansara does uh, their leather like they have a black gold that one i feel is pretty much uh like wearable kind of a leather accord there but some fragrances like black to black or some of the other ones they are a little bit more challenging and more for cold weather um another thing i would like to say about mensura is they are you know for many people they are miss or hit that kind of house uh, some people love them some people hate them this particular fragrance is gonna be love it or hate it okay i'm gonna let you know which side i'm on and one last update before i start uh, it's been very much like a very beautiful pleasant weather outside there's no dust nothing it's been drizzling and the weather is staying pretty cool uh, breeze blowing so i i don't know i don't want to speak so early but i think the winter is slowly coming towards bangladesh so i hope it stays like that and you can enjoy your fragrance a lot more so let's go i don't have a full-on presentation so once again it's going to be like this official sample of 2ml but inside you're going to find when you open you're going to find some other fragrances this one roses Benny. i told you they're all always I put different fragrance pictures and this is like lemon line i think yeah and this one the wild wild uh, line they have quite a few i have one bottle i'll show you their bottles look different from each other as far as i remember i don't know where i kept it though uh, hold up sorry ah i don't know where i kept my wild <laughs> i have wild uh, cherry i don't know where i kept it yeah here we go sorry about that i should have thought about it before this kind of printing on the bottles many of their fragrances so they come in 30 uh, 50 or 60 and 120 mil and uh, bottles you're gonna find their bottles they're gonna you have to screw out like that and then you have to screw it back on the sprayer is good a bottle looks all right I mean it's not the I, I don't like this kind of leopard print I mean something <laughs> doesn't work with me that kind of a bottle but you never know okay if you like it you like it and here's the sample I went through a little bit of it and uh, let's spray this on the paper which is going to tell you something that I'm not spraying on the hand or the skin. I'll tell you. Let's try it. Literally that much would be enough for the review actually. So thanks Masudbe for sending me these because I was never going to buy or able to buy all the Mansuras. So it's nice to try. So let's uh, settle down. So this fragrance is not your typical leather. This one has something, some notes that really uh, did not wow me. Uh, Mansura fragrance I have about 20 now. Okay. And I did try about around 40. So what I noticed about Mansara is they usually uh, turn to tend to repeat fragrances. You know, they have, today I was reading some comments in different groups. One brother was saying they do their rose a bit too much. They're all too familiar. Sometimes they do rose oud combo too much. And then some of their uh, fresher fragrances smell alike. So I actually can see that they are guilty of that. And they are releasing too many Mansaras lately. So how many are you going to buy? Uh, but, you know, Joe Wolf yesterday shared something of a blue bottle. I think that's going to be coming out as well. So uh, it's opening is kind of like a bergamot citrus freshness. It's not really leather right away. So once you smell it, uh, there is that citrus element, bergamot. But there's with that, it's something else that really was not my favorite. I mean, I like a lot of Mansuras, but there was like a fragrance like Wave Musk. I did not really like it. Uh, many people like it, but I was like, nah, that was not my cup of tea. Okay. This other fragrance is not my cup of tea. Um, I think many people like it. Uh, it's kind of very strong. There is something uh, off-putting about it in the opening. According to, I mean, to my nose, I did not enjoy that opening. I like instant crush a lot. That one is like instant love. Okay, this perfume is exactly opposite, polar opposite of this one. Instant crush and these are polar opposites. This, like you sniff it for the first time, you know this is built to love. This one right here is going to be, uh, you know, you either love it or you hate it okay or it's gonna be like a miss or hit something like that okay so this perfume 
slowly starts showing its uh, leather and it's not the most natural kind of a smell of leather. I have quite a few leather fragrances. Uh, some of them smell very animalic. This one smells okay, not that animalic, more toned down. But it's not as good as black gold, which I also have. I love black gold. Uh, black gold is really, really beautiful. It's really pretty. If This is a uh, leather fragrance done right. I love this fragrance. I wore it a lot. So now I'm just giving you a comparison so you can understand. This particular perfume, it will start a little bit of oak moss, kind of like green, amber, um, patchouli, something like dark. It's just the whole direction they went for and with this one. I felt it was not really wearable in my opinion. I mean, I did not see where I'm going to wear this. I don't see any occasion I can wear this, but if you like to take a challenge, you know, this kind of those challenging fragrance. So I guess it's more niche side of things. So I read one comment, someone said it smells like to them urinals and, uh, you know, kind of vomiting. And I'm not going to say it's that nasty, but it's something off putting about this fragrance. So for me, wild leather, uh, I found no occasion where whatsoever i can wear this casually formally school anywhere wherever you're gonna wear it people are gonna give you weird looks i think that's that's my just my humble opinion but you can give it a try uh it's one fragrance that some people do like you know longevity is fantastic you can get six seven hours out of it so which is not bad like 8.5 out of 10 but overall this fragrance i'm gonna give this like a five out of ten I did not really appreciate, I did not feel the vibe with this perfume. There's something off about it, you know. It's like some notes missing or they put like a wrong note somewhere <laughs> in the line. Uh, perhaps they wanted to do something more daring and more bolder. But the fragrance is nice, you know, it's like kind of has this gentle side of it. But this overall smell, it just doesn't smell like the natural leather to me. That's what really putting me off about this. It's come something like leather done bad. I'm just gonna say that. And it's like... A uh, lot more, uh, there's this rose accord somewhere as well, so rose, leather, freshness, <laughs> not really feeling the vibe. So you can give it a try, it's like 5 out of 10, it's like someone halfway, it's like love it or hate it, okay? So that's the review for me, uh, for wild leather, I'm not going to go on much longer. You can give it a try, get a sample like this, maybe you would be able to appreciate it. I think you can wear this for the colder weather and mostly men would like it, women, I'm not going to share, I'm not sure they're going to like this so much. So thanks for watching guys, uh, let's see if we have some other reviews coming up. I have a couple of other fragrance oils and one chippy coming up maybe in upcoming videos. Take care guys, have a very nice day and weekend, bye bye.